And thank you. Mm -hmm. A store dedicated to teaming rescue dogs from kill shelters with veterans, teaming them with veterans is expanding. Yeah, and more space means more opportunities mm -hmm. to help them, and there's ways that you can help too. We have got our Jamaica Ponder live this morning at the Promenade Bowling Brook with more. Jamaica, we've been looking forward to seeing this story all morning and just yeah. hearing about how they're making this partnership happen. <laughs> This is a really good one because it's multifaceted in trying to help veterans economically, but also from an emotional standpoint. And I'm here with the man who founded the entire operation, Michael Tellerino. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. Well, thank you so much for having us in your new space oh, as you guys get ready for this weekend. It's an honor to have you here. Oh, well, please. The honor is all mine. I'm really hoping that you could tell our audience what is going on this weekend that they should be so excited for. Well, we are in the process right now. We're in our store that we moved in to from Promenade Bolingbrook Mall. We moved from a little store that we had to a much bigger store, as you could tell. Uh, it's all veteran-owned products, as well as household furnishings for every room in your home. So let's take a look over here, because the, the space is huge, and it's not even completely filled no, up yet. No, no. And so you're telling me everything that we see over here was made by local vets? Yes, ma'am. And this is everything from popcorn and candles. You have housewares, spices. It's quite an array. Yeah, we even got our own little coffee shop there with Gun Barrel Coffee. And Gun Barrel Coffee, also a local veteran. And made yes, and a, um, an amazing organization. So all of your merchandise here, it doesn't only help the vets who make it, but the proceeds go to a larger operation yes, that you they, have going yeah. on. So they, they uh, all the proceeds from our store is going to be going to uh, help provide a service dog to a veteran which is an amazing gift to them. It's a gift that keeps on giving. And here are some of these dogs right now. Yeah. You have over 100 dogs in your care. Over 136 dogs through our program, and I'm proud to say, you know, we lose 22 veterans a day to suicide. Through our program, we haven't lost one veteran to suicide. We're really proud of that. And share some of the details of this program, because it's not just handing off a dog to the oh, veteran. Oh, God, no. We, we send our trainer, Kate McGrill, who is our lead trainer, we send her out to local shelters, and she'll look at a dog maybe three or four times to make sure it's going to be a good fit for our program. Once Kate determines that it's a good fit, she'll bring the dog into the training center, and the veteran will be paired. The dog will be paired with a veteran. And so you guys are taking dogs who would otherwise be sitting in shelters, yes. risking euthanization, and you're, you're pairing them with folks who are at risk of having mental health issues and Correct. struggles. And again, I ask, who saved who? Did the dog save the veteran? Did the veteran save the dog? And it's a win-win. You have to share with us why you are the man who, who really should be doing this and what sort of insight you have to knowing what veterans need. You know, being a veteran myself, I know what they're, what they're I can't say I know what they're going through because of their PTSD, but I know their struggles just day to day. Uh, when these veterans come into program, they may be apprehensive about, is this going to work for me? Do I really need a dog? Within 60 days, you couldn't get that dog away from them. It becomes their battle buddy. Wow. And so this weekend, you're having a huge sale at a pop-up that's around the corner, also right. here in the Bolingbrook Promenade. But just on a regular day-to-day, -day, customers can come in, they can patronize your store, buy locally made, veteran-made products. Correct. And all the proceeds, if they're not going to the veterans themselves, they're going to this program right here that pairs these furry fellows with <laughs> veterans who could desperately need a friend. You know, it's a, I, and again, I, I call it the gift that keeps on giving. These dogs are an amazing gift to our veterans. They really are. They, well, they help them get through the day. Michael, you are doing fantastic work here. Well, so thank you. thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. You. Audrina, Brad. All right, Jamaica, what a program. Yeah. That is just amazing to see. I mean, not only are they pairing the veterans and helping them with that, but they're also helping veterans who are making things. and yeah, entrepreneurial. Entrepreneurial. Like, yeah. That's so cool. So many so often they're like, what am I going to do after serving? Yeah. No, it's great. Yeah, and we thank awesome. them all for their services. Yes. And what a great program. Thank Get out you. there and support them. No question about it. Well,